God, Sleepy Sutton, you're such a sleepy guy. Why don't you wake up, man? Come on. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, welcome back to uh, episode number four of my Timber and Stone Let's Play. I think it's episode number four. Uh, my name is Whale Masher, and I hope you enjoy this uh, little episode that, that I'm going to have done, but not planned at all for you guys. Okay? So, our farmers over here are farming... Well, one of our farmers is farming away. Philippe, on the other hand, just fell asleep in his beats. And uh, Mr. Robert Augustine is just hoeing around, man. Just crazy hoeing. That's what he's up to. Uh... Sleepy Sutton, as you can see, I renamed Sutton to Sleepy Sutton because I thought it fit pretty well. Uh, God, we've got another sleepy guy over here. We've got Neil the Miner just sleeping away and Simon the Miner just mining away, working hard. Neil just being lazy as usual. I think we got, yeah, we got a wood chopper over here just cho Ooh, look at the brightness. There it is. Uh, Kurt Cameron, wood chopper, just chopping hardcore over there. And, uh, let's take a look. What else do we have? Oh, another wood chopper right here. Jens Rodemuller. He's a wood chopper. He's cutting down trees like a champ. And I'm pretty sure I heard, yep, there he is, Mr. Forager. I thought I heard him over here earlier shooting a bow off. Uh, Mr. Francis Humphrey. Kicking ass and taking names all day long. And, uh, you know, during the night... After I was done recording, I was looking around my landscape and realizing just how nice it is. This is a really good uh, landscape. It's very, uh, very tree full. <laughs> it's very tree full. It's got a lot of trees. It's it's decently flat. Oh, more brightness, and I like it. I like the I like the layout of this. I I would have really have liked to have chosen a area that had a stream or a river breaking through rather than having like a shoreline but you know what it works it, it, it works well and I don't mind it's it's just a game so maybe I can just make a river I don't know oh Augustine broke his hoe and uh, Jens he's a uh, level level four let's hear see here uh, mr. hardcore Harry he is going to catch a fish, I think. Come on, man. You can do it. You can do it, Harry. You can do it. Catch a fish. Catch two. One fish. Come on, Harry. You could have caught two on that hook. It's a double pronger. I know it is. I've got a chicken. Got a chicken over there. Anyhow, uh, the miners. More brightness. Oh, Neil, you're so lazy. So I've got my miner in here. Uh, these guys are just going to mine 50 blocks this way. And then they're going to stop. And then I'm going to have them mine uh, the bottom row here out. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be 3 tall and 50 long. And then I'll probably have them branch mine or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build little uh, logs up in here to to act as though they're bracing the entire thing. So I think that'll look cool. Hey, you woke up, buddy. That's good. Nice. Oh, you woke up too. Philippe, you woke up. Welcome to daylight, sir. You're still sleeping though, Neil. God, you're lazy. So lazy. Okay, so the next guy that we get here, uh, if I don't get one soon, I'm going to just turn someone into a builder. Uh, might build, might turn someone into a stonemason and a blacksmith. Uh, tailors I'm not too concerned about right now, uh, but I'm going to need one. I, I need at least four more uh, migrants to come into this town. In fact, I need a fighter too. I need someone who can be infantry or an archer. So, sorry guys, I'm kind of floating around here hoping that I'm going to see a migrant uh, making his way down, down uh, the yellow brick road here. But that does not seem to be a happening. So we're just going to have to do what we have to do. Uh, at the moment, we have 253 logs. So I think what I'm going to do is actually take one of my wood choppers away from chopping. I like to get uh, like to get things moving right along at the start by having multiple miners and wood choppers. So he's just turned into a level 4. 
And I do believe there is another wood chopper. Where is he? Is this the guy who's level four? Yeah, that's Jens. And then Kurt. He's level five. So we're going to take Jens. And we're going to move him over here. And let's turn him into... Let's turn him into a builder. And there's really not a lot I want to build right now, but let's just take a look. Doors, furniture, military, workshops. Yeah, you know what? I think... Hmm... Thinking I might not have him as a builder, but I do want to show you guys what I'm going to try to achieve here. So I'm going to have a block that goes basically uh, like this, and then up to there. So it's going to be one by. Hold on, that's not right at all. Hmm. Yeah, let's not do that yet. We'll put it over here. So it's going to go up, and it's going to be one by that, and then, you know what, I have to do it this way, that's lame, and then one right there, <coughs> hmm, okay, let's, hmm, Let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's just delete that. We'll do that later. We're going to turn him into a stonemason, I think, instead. Where is he? What was his name? Was it Kurt? No, it must have been Jens. There he is. All right, Jens, your new job is going to be a stonemason. So let's get you, sir, building a masonry bench. You can put it right there. Lots of stuff breaking, people leveling up, all good stuff. And we're going to go to resources, and we're going to go to raw materials, actually building materials, and we're going to start making cobblestone maybe <clears throat> or field stone let's start with field stone let's add 40 of those and then let's add 60 cobblestones I think that'll work so we're gonna get him leveling himself up a little bit And let's check our resources now, the raw materials. And we're getting wool. Still have a little bit of cotton seed. We've got 11 cotton now and 14 wheat, so that's good. Uh, animal fat, we have nine of. Uh, having, having the wheat means that we can start herding animals. And that will be great. Because then we can get animal fat from them for lamps and whatnot. Uh, when you go down to lighting, uh, you can see for lamp posts you need animal fat, uh, the rope and the ingots and whatnot, but that stuff will all come in time. I can't remember what else you use animal fat for, but there's probably something, I would, I would imagine. There might not be though. Uh, but we're gonna try to, like I said, we're just gonna take this slow and we're gonna try to make a nice little community here for our, for our settlers. So I do want to kind of plan it out a little bit. I'm not ex exactly sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, to be honest with you, what I might do is uh, find like a Minecraft uh, website for designing structures and just design one for this, uh, simply because they're both based on uh, on blocks. So 
you can use it to to help you know design a structure or whatever but I th i'm thinking i'm going to just build a little structure right in here to start with i just want to make it look nice it's probably going to have about uh, four or five tall and then it's going to have a little uh, walkway around the top and then it's going to have some uh, maybe a tower on one side i don't know i don't know i haven't really gotten into designing a lot of stuff in this game yet so i don't really know uh, how to build the tower in a way that they can actually walk up it and have it look good. So we'll see what we can do together. We'll figure something out, I think. Where are you fishing, sir? Into this little this little thing here? You're not going to catch much, much, man. There's not going to be many fish in there. I'm just, just saying. Let's check out our miners. Yep, they're going. They're going well. So I should be getting, yeah, see I have coal now. I'm probably getting some uh, some ores. Yep, I'm starting to get ore, so that's all good. So I really do need to get myself a, need to get myself a uh, blacksmith here. So I'm just waiting on a settler. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Hmm. Chicken, that's not a settler. Our forager is still foraging. It's around this time in the game when nighttime comes and then my forager gets killed. Or even in the daytime, they get killed. And usually they'll pause the game and I'll get a warning first and have a chance to fight them. But every once in a while, uh, they just get snuck up on and destroyed. And that is not cool in my books. Especially when it's like a level 7 profession. Or level 10 or 12 or whatever. So The game is quite slow uh, to start. And I apologize for that. Uh, this, this guy, like, I just don't want to take away his profession there quite yet. To have him start doing something else. Or his level towards his next... Uh, his experience towards his next level of his profession. I don't want to take that away yet by switching him. So. Maybe what I'll do for the next episode is just kind of allow things to progress a little bit and uh, wait till I have something a little bit more fun to do for you guys to watch. Because watching me fly around the map, probably not all that entertaining. Probably not all that entertaining. I just like to keep my eye on things here, because really that's all there is to do. Until you get more guys and more things going on, and you're planning your structures and building stuff, and, and fighting, and, and things like that. So, I tend to just pay attention to my resources, and make sure that everyone is stocked up on things. Let's just add 20 of those. So another five of these. Another five of these. And I'll add one more knife to the queue. The uh, the ladder I haven't actually used. Ladders are crafted from interlaced wood and rope and are used primarily by builders in order to scale walls while creating new structures. I think I'm gonna make that. I haven't made one, but it sounds like that'd be extremely helpful in some situations. So Let's add it to the queue and move it to the top. What's missing? Oh, I don't have the rope. Uh, can I make a rope? I can if I have a tailor. I think this guy is about to level up. When he levels, we'll make him a tailor. And, oh, there he goes. Let's make him a... Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Uh, resources. Uh, crafting rope. Let's add that to the queue. And he's going to make that now. And here, I'm going to add a couple to the queue also. There we go. Okay, so he's going to make some rope for us here. Yeah, you don't need shears just yet. Sleepy Sutton, needing shears. What a jerk.
There he goes. What a champion. What a champion Master Taylor he is. And now we're going to put him back to a carpenter. And now he'll build the uh, ladder. Perfect. Wonderful. Life is good. Life is good. <clears throat> Those guys have a bit of a job ahead of them. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is uh, finish off this episode right here. I do thank you very much for watching. And I hope you like it, or favorite it, or comment, or subscribe, or something. If you're going to do just one of those things, leave me a comment. I love the comments. I love the subscription, the subscriptions, too. Uh, because it means that you'll watch more of my videos. Hopefully. Hopefully that's the point of you subscribing. And uh, hopefully you'll leave me more comments, because I love to read them, and I, I do try to reply to them as often as I can. Uh, which right now is pretty much every comment. It used to be a little bit more hectic, but it's not anymore. So leave me a comment, and I will reply to it. And uh, guys, thanks again. And girls, too. Thank you also.